improving the lot of animals used in medical research. The question tonight is, what do those guidelines mean for the health of humans? Terry Drinkwater has been checking. At scores of universities and medical centers across the country, research using animals is being curtailed or stopped. And many experts worry the result will slow progress towards cures for human ills, like cancer, heart and muscular disease, and AIDS. I think that if research is stopped in some instances, that ultimately the American public is possibly the greatest loser. For years, militants in the animal rights movement have flouted the law, raiding and trashing labs. Ultimately, the government investigators agreed with the concerns of some of the activists. Baboons and monkeys were found to be severely mistreated at the University of Pennsylvania, and research there was ordered stopped, as it was in California at the City of Hope, because authorities judged the kennels to be inadequate. And next, animal research at New York's Columbia University was shut down under new animal welfare rules of the National Institutes of Health. Columbia, that has brought pain to animals because it hasn't had good guidelines for so many years, is now going to suffer pain itself. Columbia says it will try to correct the deficiencies as soon as possible. Other research centers complain of insufficient funds to remodel facilities to comply with the new federal standards. But some doctors and patients feel the government has gone too far. Jim Wintrich has multiple sclerosis and believes research on animals can lead to a better life for him. I want uh, something to help me so that I can be normal like everybody else. This is why animal research is important to me. Animal lovers say there are other, better research methods. I think we need to put much more emphasis into technological alternatives, such as computer models and tissue cultures. There is no way that a computer model can simulate the transplantation of an organ from one biologic organism to another. Yet some research veterinarians ally themselves with the animal rights movement. It's a privilege to use animals in research that we owe those animals uh, the best humane care that we can give, which then produces the best research. The best research, he adds, because the animals are healthier. Terry Drinkwater, CBS News, Los Angeles.